I'm Dr. Yasira Ismail, a quantum physicist from Stellenbosch University. In collaboration with the University of Science and Technology of China, we implemented the first quantum satellite link on the Southern Hemisphere. We also implemented the longest intercontinental link between South Africa and China of a distance of 12,900 kilometers. This is quite groundbreaking. Apart from that, um, if we look at quantum satellite communication, it encounters sending uh, single photons or quantum carriers from a quantum payload down to a ground station. So for the implementation of this experiment in South Africa, we had to launch a ground station on top of the roof of the engineering department here at Stellenbosch University in order to send secure keys from a quantum satellite owned by the Chinese, the Chinese quantum satellite Jinan-1, which is launched in the low Earth orbital, which transmitted secure keys down to the ground station in Stellenbosch. The highlight of this experiment was that due to the ideal weather conditions in Stellenbosch, we were able to obtain a secure key of 1.07 million bits in a single pass of the satellite over the ground station. This is quite impressive because this is the highest secure key achieved by Jinan-1. So in terms of where to go forward, well, what we have implemented thus far as well is using our secure key, we were able to encrypt a message using also the one-time pad and send this encrypted message between China and South Africa. However, there is a lot more development to us uh, in quantum satellite communication. And so in order to improve and expand these experiments, the way forward would be to improve the secure key rate. And currently, all quantum satellites are launched in the lower Earth orbital. That means you have a limitation on the time frame in which experiments can be performed, and this is limited to six minutes. However, if you can launch quantum satellites into the geostationary Earth orbital, these satellites will remain fixed, which will increase the time frame for experiments to be performed. And this will increase the secure key rate, which is quite a challenge in quantum satellite communication. So going forward, if research and development can be implemented to improving these secure key rates, we can eventually produce a practical solution of quantum satellite communication for the benefit of humanity.